With just three days to go till Hazrat Khalif al Masih addresses 35,000 MD Muslims at the opening session of Jalsa Salana, Germany, preparations are already fast underway behind me on site at Messi Karlsruhe. Let's go inside and take a look. Security work diligently at entry points to the site. With the Jilsa spread over a vast complex, workers rely on various forms of indoor transport. A local German volunteer, Rashid Khan, kindly offers to give me a tour on his buggy. The site is divided into two sections, with equal areas devoted to men and women. Soon the four large halls, dining marquees and bazaar will be filled with envy Muslims from around the world. But first, the host must prepare for Hazrat Khalif al Masih's inspection, which takes place within a matter of hours. Ahmed Kamal is the administrator in charge of preparing for His Holiness's arrival. His team work on detailed plans as Ahmed recounts his experiences from previous inspections. Hazur decides on himself where he walks, and this is something um, which is which is great because the things we, we which comes out from from Hazur's visit to the Shobas we sometimes did not plan that Hazur should or Hazur uh, will go there. Then suddenly Hazur go there and there is there are some unexpected uh, unexpected things that happens. One thing which I was not expecting was as um, Hazur was um, in the area of the private tents. And it was a very remarkable experience for me that Hazur asked someone to come out from his tent and narrate him how he feels, uh, how the preparations from the Shoba was, how they are, uh, you know, um, if they are feeling well and everything. And this shows us that Hazur is, um, um, is focus, focusing on details. Hazur is not only focusing on big shobajats and other um, things. Hazur is, um, is showing us that we have to look in every bit of every corner, that everyone who comes from uh, to the Jalsa uh, should be uh, happy and, and, and content with our preparations. Meanwhile, an entire team of chefs prepare food and cold, sweet drinks for hundreds of volunteers. Let's test this. That's excellent, that's excellent. And the Muslim youths have worked day and night for the past week to transform this site, taking breaks only to pray and rest. An event of this scale could never take place without the hundreds of volunteers who give up their weeks in advance to help prepare. And as the hours tick down to Hazrat Khalif al Masih's arrival, we can feel the excitement beginning to build in the atmosphere. This is Tale Ahmed reporting for MTN News.